Shannon Conklin here with Be Disciplined, back with another Fitspo Friday. Today I'm going to be bringing you a HIIT workout that you can do anywhere with no equipment in under 15 minutes. Super blessed to be recording today at Half Moon Yoga Studio here in Grand Junction and so thankful for my gorgeous models, Amy, Kylie, Bailey, and Danielle for agreeing to let me torture them for 15 minutes. So with that being said, um, we're gonna take you, I'm gonna take you through a workout um, where we're gonna do six exercises. We're gonna do the hard work for 30 seconds and then you're gonna get a 10 second break. So the first one is jump squats. And of course, uh, on a squat, I wanna make sure on, on form that you're driving the hips back, your weight is not in your toes, the weight's in your heel, and you're gonna sit just like you're sitting in a chair. So Danielle's gonna show you what the advanced level of jump squat is. So she's gonna drive her hips back and explode off the ground. While she's doing that, keep, up, keep it up Danielle, I'm gonna have Bailey show you what the, the lower impact version is, which is just the straight squat that I was showing. So at any time, even if you are exploding and you are feeling fatigued and you're sacrificing form, I want you to come back to that just regular squat. The next thing we're gonna do is push-ups. So your push-ups, you can be either here or on your knees. You can do wide. You can do something crazy if you wanna like jump up and pull on. I highly recommend. And the next thing will be our reverse lunges. Kylie, would you show what a reverse lunge looks like alternating legs? Uh, no, just let's just do the low impact first. And so you see how she's keeping her knee over her ankle so that protects her knee. If you're going to drive your knee before, you're putting too much stress on your knee and your ankle, and it's really unsafe. Amy, would you show the jump squat version? Or jump lunge, rather. There you go. And... <laughs> Alternatively, in between those two, if you wanted to, to jump and just hop, and then jump and just hop. So three levels there. And then we're going to do a tricep dip. A tricep dip, you're just going to sit on your butt, we'll come down to your butt, and drive your hips up as high as you can, and keep your elbows right behind you, and just drive them back and up. The farther out your feet are, the harder of a movement that is, the closer in, you can get a little bit higher, still a little bit more support. Then we're gonna do everyone's favorites, burpees, <laughs> and multiple variations of the burpees. So most advanced, bring your feet up and jumping. Well, not really most advanced, because you could also add a push-up. Feet up and jump. Kelly, would you show without the jump on the burpee? Just so everyone doesn't have to watch me the whole time. Thank you so much. And then you can also just, you can just come here. So it's like a modified mountain climber with both legs. Um, and then the last but not least, we're just gonna do a side lunge, okay? You're just gonna drive out to the side, keep that knee, that knee tracking. And if you wanna make it harder, jump up. You wanna change things up, bring it behind you. This is known as a curtsy lunge, gets that Median, medial glute muscle that is so hard to target. Um, all right, so those are the six exercises. Here we go, squatting for 30. How low can you girls get? Let me see. I'm gonna watch. I'm um, such so a here. Nice job, ladies. Everyone's doing the advanced version. I love that. Because this is not hard and this, or not easy. And this, I mean, we're only about just over halfway, third of the way through. So 10 seconds left, and you are really feeling like your quads are on fuego, and you're getting the great glute work. Rest for 10, and then we'll go into the push-ups. Is anyone doing not knee push-ups? I think there's a couple on my Push-ups are the one thing I really just like. Not the only one. Nice job. The girls are doing awesome. And you see how they're coming 
like they're bringing their chest almost as close to the floor as they possibly can. That's amazing form, and that's what you want. You want the biggest range of motion to get the biggest bang for your butt, to work that entire muscle, because that's also a big muscle with two muscles overlaying each other. So after this, we'll do the reverse lunges. Oh. Or switch. These are called so many different things. Um, switch lunges, jump squats, or not jump, 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 jump lunges, jump switch squats. I, I just call them reverse lunge because you're going backwards. And again, if you're going forward, you're not going to get the work in this glute. This is the glute that you're working, the one that's going down. So you want to keep that knee over, your weight back, drive this knee down to get the work in that glute. So next we get to go to the floor, ladies. I try to put something nicer in the middle. And also on these intervals, we're doing 30 seconds with a 10 second break. You can make it harder by going longer, 40, 45. You can also make it 20 seconds with a 10 second break. You'll see that 20 seconds, especially if you're new, um, just starting an exercise program is absolutely efficient. And again, we're not even wearing shoes. You can do this anywhere in your hotel room. You don't need anything for a breeze. I'm just gonna stay low. Actually, I'm gonna a little bit. So, saying I don't have enough time, uh, I can't afford a gym. You literally need no equipment. We've got yoga mats. You can use a towel or just a floor. And I also prefer doing this, get a break ladies, without shoes because that is great for the mobility of your feet. And so strengthening, we'll go side lunges. Um, you know, we're, we're on our feet all day long. And so whatever we can do to strengthen our feet muscles and to keep them mobile will help with knee pain, low back pain, hip pain, everything in between your feet. It all starts in the feet. So doing these without shoes on actually serves a double purpose. And last one. And we get a break. I'm gonna do that one more time. How are you guys feeling? Good. Sweating. Right. I should also say we are in a 90 degree heated room that's cooled down significantly from the 102 it was when we got here. So we're also adding a detoxifying benefit. Although I don't recommend doing this in a heated room. All right, ladies, last round. This is 30, uh, 30 seconds, last round. Last 30 seconds of jump squats. Last three minutes of work. Do anything for three minutes. So go as hard as you can. Because this is it, then you're done. Then you're gonna go get the latte, the healthy breakfast to refuel you. Is anyone's quads burning? No. Nope. I mean, 30 seconds is an eternity. Whew. All right, last time for push ups. So go hard, play it all out here. Don't leave anything in your reserve tank. You girls got this. On these circuits, you can also do a fourth one, which we're not. But if you're just starting, I recommend starting with just two circuits rather than three and work your way up. Or you could even choose to add a couple exercises at the end. So it's eight, eight exercises rather than six and do it twice or half it, and I do it three times. Whatever your fitness level is, listen to your body. And should I put a disclaimer? I am not a medical doctor, so before beginning any exercise regimen, please consult your physician. 
All right, girls, 10 seconds left. And you guys, this timer, this interval timer, it's awesome because you can um, design however many different types of workouts you want, different um, lengths, different numbers of moves, numbers of circuits, and you don't even have to think about it. It just lights up the color, dings at you, and tells you to get off your lazy ass and get back to work. Let's make it hard as you possibly can. Last 15 seconds of working on those tuck shop arms, those lunch lady arms. They're gonna look amazing in all your cute tank tops this summer. You just keep doing this. All right. Now for everyone's favorite burpee. And let's go. Drive those knees in. If you want to add the push up, feel free, especially after just three sets of push ups. I will not feel free to do that. How's everyone feeling? Do you want me to not talk to you? Yeah. Right? Five seconds left. Everyone's got at least one more burpee left in them. Maybe two. Got this? Awesome. All right. The last and final 30 seconds of work. It's gonna be those side lunges. Let's go. And again, don't ever forget the, um, the skaters if you wanna switch it up. And these are great because it's rebounding, bounding, um, and it's balanced. And that glute medius muscle is the largest stabilizers in your body. So important to strengthen those. And we're done. Yay. Do you guys feel like you got a good workout? Yeah. And nobody died. You can see. So Activities I'm gonna let completed. Activities completed. I'm gonna let these girls catch their breath and get a drink of water. And I'll see you next week. In the meantime, have a blessed day. Stay disciplined.